The height of women ages 20 to 29 is normally distributed. So when I read that part, normally distributed, we're opening up stack crunch normal calculator. Let's see, I'm going to bring this one over here. All right. So they said the mean is 64.6 inches. So I'll type in 64.6 for the mean. And the population standard deviation is 2.4. Um, and they're asking a question, are you more likely to randomly select one woman with a height less than 65.9 inches or are you more likely to select a sample of 15 women with the, same, with the mean height less than 65.9 inches? So they're asking you for two different events and which one is more likely to happen. So what we're going to do is find the probability of each, compare those numbers and see which one is higher. Okay, let's start with that first question. What is the probability of randomly selecting one woman with a height less than 65.9 inches? For just one woman case, then we're going to use this uh, mean of 64.6 and standard deviation that they gave us. Okay, um, and what did they want? Less than, huh? I'll change it this to less than. 65.9 inches. That probability is about 70% chance. Now, how do they want us to round this? Four decimal places. All right, so that's kind of awkward. I will have to round that up to 0 0.7060. 0 0.7060. So that's how you find the um, probability of selecting just one person. But now the second question is asking, from a sample of 15 women. So what's going on is um, you go out and you go ask 15 women their heights, okay? And what you do is you add up all those heights and you divide it by 15, okay? And they're asking, what's the chance that that average is less than 65.9? Now this is talking about how, uh, this is talking about the sampling distribution of sample means. So, um, we're not allowed to use this 2.4, okay? That is the population standard deviation. I'm going to bring up a, a tablet. Give me one second. I'm going to write down the formula. Remember there is a formula for standard deviation of sampling distribution of sample mean. So wordy. So we called it sampling a, a standard error, okay? We're going to find the standard error because that is going to be the standard deviation, okay? Um, where's my tablet? It's not popping up. Let me just type it over here for you, okay? Just opening up a random Word document so that I can type up the formula. Um, that formula looks like this. You have to have Population standard deviation. Let's see if I can find that symbol. Divided by square root of sample size n. So that is going to be the standard deviation we have to use for this case. So let's find what that number is. Um, on top of the fraction, we will enter 0. Point, I'm sorry, 2.4. That's what they gave us as the population standard deviation, right? So that goes on top. In the bottom of the fraction, I have to do square root of the sample size. The sample size was 15. So you do square root of 15. So I need a calculator to enter that. So I'm going to open up Desmos Scientific Calculator and type in 2.4 divided by square root of 15. So this number is the standard error. And that is a number that you will use to find the probability this time. So instead of that population standard deviation of 2.4, enter that number that we just got from the calculator, 0 0.6196. And you know, this is an intermediate answer, so you can try to be as accurate as you can. I'm just going to copy down the whole thing. I don't know where I am. Let me start again. 0 0.61967733354. And then let me hit compute. Here is the probability. 
there is about 98% chance that the sample average will come out to be shorter than 65.9 inches. Wow, that's much, much higher than what we had uh, for that previous one. Okay, so which one is more likely to happen? Well, getting a sample average from 15 women um, that is higher than 65.9 inches because 98% is higher than 70%. So it is more likely to select a sample of 15 women with a height less than 65.9 inches because a sample of 15 has higher probability. That should be it. Okay, so what's really difficult about this problem, I think it was to know that you had to use this formula to find the new standard deviation for sampling distribution of sample means. Okay.